Um, so what turtle should we pick? Should we do Raphael? Oh my god, so low. Let me bring this up. Okay, here we go. Hey. Okay, let me know how the volume is, if it's okay. Place in the menus after we grade. Everything sucked after. <laughs> Remember that external HD DVD player? I never got that because I, uh, I thought it was stupid. That's a collector's item now. Uh, HD DVDs are um, and, the, and, the, and their players are collectibles. But there are people that love kind of uh, failed formats and stuff. There's a market for that. I thought that was hysterical. They were like, oh, buy this external clunky thing to, to play HD DVDs. That would, that would be like Sony releasing uh, external drive for like the PS2. But no, they, they didn't. Luckily, the, the PlayStation 3 came a little late, so they were able to make a Blu-ray drive. Yes, dude. Um, I like that you could pick the turtle after you die. We're gonna stick with Raphael for a little bit because then I died a little too early there. But yeah, things would have changed. Let's say the uh, Xbox 360 would have had a built-in HD drive. How would that have changed things, you know? All right, bye, Carl. Thank you for dropping by. Yeah, <laughs> you want hey, Bo? You wanted an HD DVD drive? I think they're going for a lot. Like you go on eBay and stuff. Right here is cool. PlayStation 2 got Netflix in Brazil. Really? I did not know that. That's so weird. Uh, I guess let's just try uh, Leonardo. But yeah, Brazil likes to hold on to uh, formats for a while. Like the Master System was getting new games 10, 20 years after it came out. It reminds me of Asia. Asia was still li looking at um, video DVDs. When DVD came out, like it, DVD took a while to catch on in Asia because they were just really into those VCDs. Watching MPEG 1. <laughs> Netflix disc. Well, I remember the Wii, the Wii had a Netflix disc. That was, I thought that was the only console that had one of those. Kind of still making it really i didn't know that that format caught on i thought it was all like uh blu-ray i would think they would go for a sony format released in brazil until 2008 wow i did not know that they got it kind of late I just realized something. I didn't change the, uh... Let's see. Is this arcade version on here? They have Tournament Fighter, Turtles in Time. They just have just plain old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I guess that's the one I would pick. Got reshelled. They got smashed up. They got all, all of them. Oh my god. I guess I'm just gonna pick, like, this one. There we go. I die. So who put the light down?
Blu-ray was the uh, one of the, the first ones only won the format world. Uh, yeah, I remember they really tried to push, um, what was it, mini discs. I remember mini discs in like the early 2000s. And that that format was actually really popular in Europe. Um, it, it did not catch on here. They were like, it's the digital cassette. What other failed um, formats did, did um, Sony have? The Betamax? Did they do, they, did, did they do the Betamax? Betamax. Uh, from what I heard, yeah, that Betamax had better picture quality, but the problem is it didn't last as long. And I think you had to pay Sony or something to, to use the format. Well, the cool thing about Blu-rays and stuff is that at least you get director's commentary, deleted scenes. You don't get that with streaming, right? With streaming, you just get the movie, and that's it. The best part about owning a movie is that, well, first of all, you own it. You're not just streaming it. But also, you get all the cool extra. I think a lot of people, I guess, don't care about that stuff. But I don't know. I like the extra. Which players are crazy expensive? Betamax or uh, HD DVD? You are dead. Don't yeah, that's the cool thing about um, Blu-rays now. They have like a digital code. Oops. Also, a lot of people want like a 4K experience and sometimes like there's not a 4k version or it takes too much bandwidth to stream so yeah if you really care about 4k content i think it's best to get those um ultra blu-ray things betas are expensive yeah i'm, I'm sure they are stations use Betamax because the tape lasted a long time even if I could. Yeah, I like how small the Betamax was, but I think it just, it didn't hold enough tape. So I think that, that was a problem. I think they did eventually come out with a uh, longer lasting one, but at that point VHS took over. But I honestly do not know much about the I was not really in the console war at the time. Go for DVDs, VHS, so it's cool. I thought, um, the laser discs were cool. I mean, the video is still analog, like the quality you would get on VHS, but the sound was digital. So it was really good for concerts and stuff. Unfortunately, you had to flip that giant CD <laughs> after like, what, half hour or two, an hour? Hey, I'm Mallow Wolf. How are you? We're playing some Ninja Turtles. Uh, I was lurking in your Elden Ring stream. I think you're further along than I am. Well, you said you beat it, right? So you're you're playing uh, some areas that I haven't been to yet. I kind of got a little burned out on Elden Ring. I'm loving it, but I'm getting a little burned out. I was just playing it non-stop for the past few days, so I really needed some retro.
it was a JVC plant close to where I live. Yeah, as a kid, I remember seeing blank uh, JVC uh, VHS everywhere. I still remember how cool it was. It's like, oh, I could buy a blank VHS tape and I could tape something off the TV on it. That was like a big deal. Uh, up to the final boss and doing some other things, talking friends. That's that's good. Oh, Raphael's not good for this fight. Could you see how he slides on the ground? That is not good for this fight. So if he die, we should pick a different turtle. Could have taken out the mousers though, I think. So many mousers. I remember the NES one. These mousers were like, ooh. Uh, how about we go for a Leonardo? What's his special like? Oh, that, that's good. Yeah, and the NES one, everyone's special was this. Raphael's slide is good. I'll take him out. Yeah, yeah, it is. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. Ha ha ha. Down over here. Oh. There you. Yeah, what was JPC the, the best VHS? But there was there was a lot of competition going on. I remember that car. Ow. 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 Oh, these guys are so annoying. This is where Konami is like, okay, we're gonna totally let you uh, waste your quarter here. You've, you've gone too far. There we go, jeez. Yeah, see, in the NES one, they put the uh, Baxter Stockman in his fly form here. Oh. After beating them, I did ten hours of exploration. Yeah, that's what's cool about Elden Ring. You could, you could either just like for me, I just went exploring and opening up the map first. But you, you can just uh, focus on the bosses and, and do all that and then explore later. It's funny going back to the beginning of the game, because when, when I went back to the starting area, I noticed I missed a lot. Like there's caves and like NPCs, there's things that I missed completely. And what's fun is like doing a second playthrough is you, you know where everything is, so you can kind of breeze through it a little better. It's not going to be as random. I've been focusing on Astrologer, but I would like to uh, do a playthrough focusing on Fate. I know that I can, um, so that I can um, do all the stats and stuff. I have the items to do that, but I'm, I'm going to start a new character.
we're gonna do stealthy with journey two. I can power tight through the front door. Okay. April kiss height. I'm just happy we were getting uh, about map data for New Game Plus. Is that true? I didn't know that. So if I do if you need New Game Plus, yeah, you don't have to find all the maps again. That's good. Uh, Chaz, do you know what uh, changes there are when you do New Game Plus? Is there any like big changes? Come on, how come that car went right through them? Double XP, that's awesome. These get 10% boost health and damage, some bosses get paired with... Okay. I like that they added like a little extra challenge there. If you beat me the game, then you're a pro, so you gotta make it a little tough. Get up. Uh, oh, okay. Another level, Wrath is not good. Do not pick Wrath. Talisman and armor do not get stronger. Oh, okay. Hit way too much. Now I'm 
I, I never played Bloodborne, but I, I did beat Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. And Dark Souls Remastered. I, what I really want is for them to uh, port Dark Souls 2 to the Switch. I would really like that. And then, of course, 3 eventually. Oh no, they got Splinter. If uh, Bloodborne came to peace, I would, would want to get it. Unfortunately, I don't trust um, from software making PC games. You know, they, they have a bad track record. So I'm kind of, I kind of would be scared to get it. Any minute now, we're just gonna run out of lives. Cause I think they give you like 20 or 30 lives, and then that's it, game over. And I don't know what we're up to, but at some point we're gonna get game over. I don't think we're gonna make it to the technical drum. Hi. And after this, we could play X Men Arcade. Hi, hi, hi. Can I just pass them? Plus? Oh no, I can't. Where'd that other flying thing go? Did he just disappear? As soon as I got the pizza, it's toasty. Special attack counts as two hits. 
There's always guest pets to try to get it. They can leave you vulnerable. Thank you, my turtles. Uh oh, the techno drone. <laughs> That's a very interesting factoid right there. I remember seeing like the original Kalog's box, but I, I didn't realize how old it was. It was like the early 1900s or something. Xbox One. Hmm. I don't know. I have the one that it. Oh no! I have the Xbox One S. So the power supply is built in. At first, I was like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah. So I just have to use like a regular generic plug. So I don't know. Um. I didn't know those things went bad. Yours has gone bad. I guess you would check uh, eBay or Ari or Amazon. Hopefully, it's a legit one. I don't know if they made third-party ones. But good. God, stop it! There you go. Original. Apparently they do go bad over time. Oh, I did not know that. I know the original Xbox, they were saying that the capacitors could like melt or something and, and get battery acid everywhere or sort of acid everywhere. In the door. Stay away from those uh things on the door again. Yeah. I have a bad feeling. I feel like we're gonna run out of lives like with this guy. Um, they 
don't. They don't make them. They make third party for the S and the X. Power supply is different for each of the two models. You know, I, I'm sure it's pretty cheap to get an original Xbox One. You're probably better off just buying a whole console that comes with a power supply. That might even be easier to find than the power supply by itself. That's just a guess. But yeah, the problem is that power supply could be close to dying as well. You know, I don't think th there's no way to get a new one, I guess. No, when I saw the Xbox One, I was like, that thing is ugly. I'm gonna wait for a revision. And then when I saw the Xbox One S, I was like, there you go. <laughs> the Xbox One, the original Xbox One looks like a VCR. The big clunky VCR. It, it just, I don't know why they went with that design. It just looks so dated and ugly and clunky. And I hate it. I hate the power supply of the Xbox 360. They don't want to go through that again with the new console. This is a giant brick. But I was happy what they did with the one. The one is the the Xbox One S is what they should have released originally. All right, we made it to Crane. I'm invincible. There's someone here. Yeah, there's a way to get it stuck in this animation. Like when, when you hit them and you get stuck, you feel like move down a little bit, and I think you, you, you don't get hit as much. Yeah, like that. There's a way of just avoiding getting hit. Going down, shred head. Yeah, you get hit with that, you get turned into a toilet. Literally. 
they changed it in the NES version. In the NES version, only the real Shredder would shoot that thing. I'm thinking this one, they both do. I got him stuck. Did you see that? Got a lot of hits in. Yeah, you can get if you get him stuck in that frame where he's gonna shoot the, the laser, he can get stunned a little bit there and get some extra hits. I don't know why I haven't run out of credits yet. I remember playing this when it came out and like maybe because I'm offline? I don't know. Because I, I remember like only having 20 or 30 credits. It, it seems to be going around infinitely. Knock on wood. Oh, I think Raphael would be good for this fight. That slide attack would. Oh! 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 Technodrome. We freaked the foot, angled the mouses, and totaled the Technodrome. That's turtle power. But what about the Shredder and Krang? Burn to toast, vaporize to milkshake, or escape to Dimension X? They spelled Dimension wrong. So we know none of us can sleep safely in our beds or shells. 